What it do, man? Mike Long TV checking in. I'm back with another video. We back with part two of Lincoln Town Car Budget Bill. Let's see, let's see what we got. All right. So in the video I made the other day, I had took this off and I had to change the uh, this thing, the uh, clock spring. Don't worry about my car, junkie. I ain't studying that right now. But anyway. Had to change the clock spring behind the steering wheel. So I got that changed. Uh, to take this cover off, get your Allen key. You probably see it better now. Stick it in there. And right there. Same on the other side. And right there, and there's one down there. Stick it in there, and you'll hear it click. And then, like, pop out. You pull that off. I had to go buy a T50. Um, torch bit to get in there and untighten it or loosen it up, whatever. Took that off. I went and bought a steering wheel puller to pull the steering wheel off, but it wasn't working. So I got back on YouTube and I just looked up all the way to take it off, man. They just told me to beat it, so I just beat the sun gun off and just wiggled it and wiggled it and pulled it, and it finally came off. So. That's how I was able to change uh, my clock spring back here. So my horn worked. Now my horn ain't worked since I even got the car. Since I got this car, it was like 2018, I think, when I first got this car. Horn worked. The buttons on the steering wheel worked. So we got that working now. Now I got another problem. In the midst of me doing the clock spring change, I don't know. I just started having a leak up under my car when I crank it up. And when I got done here to look at it, um, let's see. Probably can't see it, but you look at that rag down there. It's a sensor right, right there. It has started leaking. And I finally figured out what it is, and it's a, a, a power steering pressure switch. So down right here. So that's what I'm gonna be changing out today. And what else I'm doing? What else I'm doing? Uh, that's it for right now. So y'all stay tuned, and uh, I'm be I'm gonna get right back with y'all. I don't know if y'all can see this because of the lighting, but. That's the sensor right there above the rag. I'm finna try to change that out. And hopefully I can get in here. I'm finna see if it's leak or not. Alright y'all, so we, that was a success. Um, if it was leaking, y'all would have been able to see it leaking. Would have had a puddle up under there. So now, if y'all can see my um, power steering fluid is low. Cause that's the minimum, and that's the max. So, gotta fill that up. And then, work the steering wheel back and forth. And, uh, you know, bleed the air out the system. And, Fill it back up and then we'll be good to go, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah.
Ahí. Now, let's get in here and work the steering wheel. We're going to turn this bad boy from lock to lock. Go check it. Hmm. It didn't, uh, didn't go down though, so it might be good though. Yeah, I think once again, I think we're gonna call that a mission pass right there. Another success. So yeah man, that was it for this video. I got more videos on the way. Y'all uh, like this video, don't forget to subscribe because I got more videos on the way. And uh, y'all get in the comments and tell me which I want this, which, which I want this channel to be about because I'm having a hard time right now trying to figure out what I want this channel to be about. So I don't know if I want to do a lifestyle or to make this like a car channel. So y'all let me know, get in the comments. And uh, that's it, man. It's your boy, My Long TV. D-E-G-A-B-A-M-A, -A -A. you already know, I'm out.